Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, a very famous interview question and very tricky interview question actually and uh, I really like this question. So, what will be the output where you run this program? So, let's see. This is a class. This is a main method and this is a comment that I have written. And then I'm writing system.autoprintln. I'll print the value Java. So, what will be the output of this program? So, just pause the video and write the comment write the answer in the comment section i'm going to run it and let's see the output the output is hello naveen and java is coming and then you must be surprising that okay why it is printing hello naveen because this entire thing is a comment at line number seven how to put a comment in java in to put a comment in java you have to write it like this but just because of this special unique character we are getting this output. I'll tell you about this particular character in some time. Then let's see one more example. If I'm writing one integer and I'm taking, let's see, integer value, which is equal to 10. And then what exactly I'm writing, I'll put a comment over here. And in the comment, I'll simply write backslash u three times zero and then put a D. And then again, I'm writing, let's see, a value which is equal to 20. Okay value is equal to 20 and then i'm printing the value once again what will be the output of value what will be the output at line number 13 so again you pause the video and write down your answer in the comment section and i'm going to run it and see the output the output will be 20 over here not 10. you must be thinking this is a what this is a comment yes of course it's a comment but java will not ignore this particular comment generally what exactly we see whenever you are write a comment java will always ignore java will not execute the comments but here in this case it will be executed right so what exactly i'm going to do now let's see i'm printing system dot print ln i'm printing the value of this guy okay fine and then what exactly i'm doing system dot print ln Finally, I'm writing, let's see, hello programming, something like this. And then you run it again and see the behavior of the output. The output is coming like this. First, it will print Java. Then it's printing 20, the value, it got updated from 10 to 20, but I'll explain you why it is coming like that. And then it's creating a new line over here and then hello programming is getting generated. So this actually representing a new line okay so this is called guys i'll tell you unicode character so what type of unicode character there are if you see this there are 1,43,859 characters unicode characters are available and that we are talking about it's one of them this is the carriage return we are talking about that is written with the help of this u triple zero d same thing we have written over here u triple zero d over here right this is called carriage return the carriage return means sometimes known as a carriage return and often shortened to cr or return is a control character or mechanism used to reset a device position to the beginning of a line or text it is closely associated with the line feed and new line concept so in java it will actually generate a new line so what happens when you write this particular carriage unicode character over here Till here it will considered as a comment but from here what exactly it will do it will move this particular code to the new line to this uh, line this particular code to the new line because this is behaving actually a new line over here and that's why the output is coming like hello Naveen like this so when you run it again and you can see the output is coming hello Naveen over here so it will not be treated as a comment when you combined in the same line over here like this that is the important concept here same thing value is equal to 10 so what exactly it is happening over here this particular character this is the what till here it's a, a simple comment but this particular character will generate a new line so it will behave like this only value equal to 20 so next the line of code will be coming in the new line it will generate a new line and it will assign values equal to 20 over here and that's why the recent value of value is 20 here so this is a new line unicode character represented by u triple zero d something like this and that's why here also it is generating a new line so when you run this again 
and you see the output it's generating a new line and then the hello programming is getting printed on the console right guys it's a very a tricky i would say hidden feature of uh, java available uh, this particular feature available in java i hope it's clear now if somebody asking you this question please make sure that okay it will it's not a comment till here only it's a comment after that it will generate a new line so it will behave like this and then normal system dot or print ln hello naveen will be printed on the console like that okay i hope it's clear now that's all for this particular video guys please subscribe to the channel let me know if you have any issues if you have some more interesting stuff about java please feel free to write in the comment section share this video with your colleagues and uh, friends i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all